AI technology is sweeping across the internet now. In honor of International Tea Day, I want to ask ChatGPT to tell me more about the history of tea culture in China and also translate a traditional Chinese tea poem. Then I'm going to ask Midjourney to generate a photo from these English keywords. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, ChatGPT, do your magic. Tea has a long and rich history in China, dating back more than 4,000 years. Wow, so Chinese tea has a long history here, and there's so much to dive into with 4,000 years of history. Let's see how many kinds of tea there are now. There are hundreds of different types of tea around the world, each with its own unique flavor, aroma, and characteristics. I'm not surprised by some of these green tea, black tea, oolong tea, white tea, puar tea, so many kinds of tea that you can try. Okay, so next let's ask ChatGPT if it can translate this Chinese tea poem and tell me what it means. So here's the Chinese tea poem. Luo ri ping tai shan, chun fang chuo ming chi. On the platform at sunset, sipping tea with the spring breeze. Ooh, that's some nice imagery. Okay, so this poem captures a serene moment in which the speaker is enjoying a cup of tea on a platform as the sun sets. Ooh, it's like a tranquil, nice breeze. Next, let's take it to mid-journey and let's see if we can generate an image for this poem. Okay, so here's the first photo it's generated with four different variations for me to check. Uh, we've got a lady in all four of these, um, and she's drinking tea, but the style here feels very uh, European. It doesn't give me the Chinese ink painting style um, or really the imagery from the poem. So let's try this again and clarify a little bit for mid-journey. Give it some more keywords to try to get it closer to what the image I have in mind of this photo. So let's add some more words in here, like a man drinking tea, Chinese ink painting style. Um, let's make it black and white and also make sure it's a Chinese style tea set. Okay, here is the next generation of this photo. Uh, yeah, great. So we have this man now in all four photos, good. And the style is definitely more ink painting style. It feels more traditional Chinese. Um, I think some of these variations of the teapot are really interesting. Um, yeah, I think I really like this second one. It feels like it fits the more simplistic, calm demeanor of this man who's drinking tea, writing this poem. And uh, yeah, it just feels more simple and like it completes the poem. Good job, Midjourney. So here's my takeaways. One, I think ChatGPT translates really well and it also explains the deeper meaning very, very well. I think some translation apps may not understand cultural nuance and explain things at the deeper level and I think ChatGPT nailed that. Two, I think that mid-journey, you really need to know the right keywords to put in. As you saw when I originally tried, it pictured a woman. It was very European style. It didn't understand that I wanted Chinese style, so I needed to clarify it, add more keywords in to make sure that the subject would be more of what I had in mind. And third, going along with that, I think Midjourney is a really cool platform you can use, but art is very subjective and it really takes some time to load and play around with what you're going for. But overall, I think these AI tools are gonna to be really effective in helping foreigners, especially me, understand Chinese culture, Chinese language. I think we're gonna be using a lot more of these in the future. So let me know in the comments, which photo did you like best from Midjourney? And what do you think of ChatGPT? Is it going to be an effective tool we're all using in the future? Thanks for watching.